Easy, girl. I'm nearly there. Still rolling from the road. Easy, whoa. I ain't in the mood for taking in no stray dogs. On with you. Calm down. I ain't got time for this crap anymore.
Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. We can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know you are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Ah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. We're never gonna get there at this rate. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. This train will be long gone if you don't pick up the pace. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. Why are you driving like an old woman, huh? See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. But my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine, damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. They're left here. Towards roads. So, we block the tracks with the wagon, then jump them. That's the plan. Pretty much. 
Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth, and get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. And help you three where I can. All right for some. <laughs> Cherry picking, I call that. We'll be out in the middle of nowhere, so it'll take a while for any word to get to the law. But we should still move quick. Oi, oi, Scarface. Oh, shut up, please. We're close, Marston. We're at the railroad. Just carry on a bit easy. further. Hey, take it easy. Can't you go any faster? and over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the tracks. Whoa, whoa. <sighs> Tia! Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, Tia! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. Go hey. on! Get on there! Faster. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Ah. Ah. Everybody stay calm and sure. no party will get ah. shot. Go! Come on. Everything you got! Money! Valuable! This is unnecessary. Please. There you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving till this bag's full! I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What's the problem here? Money! Valuables! Now! Don't do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay! Okay! In the bag, God everything you got! Keep it coming, don't be shy! People like you make me sick! These two seem to think we're playing please. games! I'm gonna count to three. God damn it. Sick is better than dead, lady. And I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. You guys need me. No. You go ahead and look for the baggage car. Sure about that? Right, you are. You sure you this son of a bitch? We ain't playing around here. Quick, come on! Everything you got. Money! Valuables! We ain't leaving till this bag's full! You won't get a damn cent from me! Please Let me hand you over me. to my friend, then! Oh, my money now! Ah! Son of a bitch! Come on, cuff it up, people! Don't be shy! Everything you got! Let's go! Pay me what you got, mister, and you won't get hurt. 
très peu pour moi. Merci. Don't do this. Je ne peux pas mourir maintenant. Nothing else. Don't make me hurt you. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. This is okay. Please. None of you Come folks on, move a muscle. You hear me? I need all your money, my friend. But you got a big problem. What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Time I'll look and you provide the cover. I'll try my best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Hosh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. Hurry up in there, will you? We're looking good in here. All right, we should probably be going now. Come on, we should get out of here. We'll take that. These folks are rich, all right. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many, you say? I just see a pair of them. All right, in that case, we're fighting. Marston, Smith, get ready. You may come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them turning up. Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Last chance. Drop your weapons and get off. There they are! Look out on the left! Here come the friends! Oh, trouble through the trees! You see them? Oh! Yeah. oh. Get rid of them, quick, so we can make a run for it! Look out behind us! Coming in on horses!
move now! Let's go! What are you playing at? That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Who's that? It's me. Welcome back. Easy, girl. Good morning, Arthur. When are we hunting another bear? Uh, maybe not for a while. Good morning. 
You okay? Morning, Arthur. How are things? Excellent. A stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Can't wait to taste this. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Thanks again for coming fishing with me. I wish those mean men hadn't ruined it. Good morning. <laughs> You're back, I see. Yeah. You are back. Yes, I'm back, big man. <laughs> back from the dead, the ginger Lazarus. <laughs> <laughs> well, anything about Mac? Uh, no. I guess he died. Hi there. I didn't hear nothing, but looks like he got shot up pretty bad. <laughs> oh, man. Them calendar boys, <laughs> they were something else. <laughs> well, now... Well, I'll miss him. Me too, big man. Me too. It's too bad. Uh, the world's too bad, big man. Even Harold Arthur knows that. Hi, Mr. Strauss. How are you, Jack? <laughs> Calendar boy. <laughs> Okay, girl.
Come on, girl. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. If we try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm a workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Hello. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Eh, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. 
If you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here.
Sure. Let's go. Come on, girl. What are you waiting for? All right, follow me. Ha! Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. Hold on now. Let's head up to the ridge up there. Get a proper view. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collecting on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. <laughs> Let's see what we can see from up here. I think that's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. That ought to do it. All right. Let's go round them up. Let's go. Come on, girl. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here, or there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? Now I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. No, 
Come on. Head to town. You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Keep moving. There you go. Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. For 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Eighteen. 
15%. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. Huh? What the hell? Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but After in the you, end, sir. I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man for compromise. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen? Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! know me, but you keep robbing me. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning the yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting scum like you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done. Now get out here now. Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor do I want to be this. Shut up! 
our horses over there! Come on, grab Strauss! Please, you can't leave me like this! You're going to get harder than me, no man behind! Go get Strauss! Don't leave me here! Make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Alright. I better get out of here. That's him!
you're okay, girl.